the client machine has been prepared, all the applications installed, all the drivers installed and tested. Before you can image it, it needs to be sys prepped ready for use. So we will go to all programs, accessories and we find the command prompt option. We need to right click on this and run as administrator. We now need to cd space backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash sys prep. This moves us into the right directory. We then type sys prep forward slash generalize place slash o o b e out of box experience at that point the machine will start the sys prep and when it's completed it will shut down the machine right the client has now shut itself down the next stage requires us to be quite quick with the F12 key to enter the boot menu, then to boot from the network when required. So we'll start the client. We'll press F12 to enter the boot menu. And we want to boot from the network. So we'll choose L for LAN. The machine will pick up an IP address and ask us to press F12 again. It will then download the boot file, as we can see. Now that the client machine has booted, you will see we have three options. We have the boot image we created, the capture image we created, and the Windows 7 capture that we used at the end. So we'll use the Windows 7 capture and we'll start the boot process once more. Now that the client is fully booted, we get the Windows Deployment Capture Wizard. We need to choose which drive we want to cancel capture, in this case D drive. If no drives show up there, that means the sysprep wasn't successful. We'll give the image a name, Windows 7 64-bit and we can give it a description as well. We'll move on. We will save the file locally to the machine. So we'll put it on drive D again and we'll give it the name Win7. We wish to upload it to the server that we've created and we type in the server's name. We create, click connect and we should be prompted for a username and password. We'll log on as administrator at the name of your domain.
and then type in the password. Remembering you may have an American keyboard set up here, so if you have an at symbol, make sure you put it in as quote. Tick the remember my credentials box and press OK. That will connect you to the server. You then choose your image group name, Windows 7, and click Next. It will now take quite a considerable amount of time to capture the image onto the hard drive.